What is up, Apex Nation? Welcome back to some more The Outer Worlds. Hope you guys are having a great day. Last episode, we hunted a bunch of dudes, killed a bunch of dudes, we reverted power away from this crap hole of a city, back to the awesome place. She may not be a little bit happy about that. Is aware and we concerns. just sold a bunch of stuff, and, and now to we're going to go and Got deliver our damage. fingers. Make it quick, please. May I turn in a bounty? By the finger. What do you have for me? Here's his finger. Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a How freelancer much am I gonna on get? behalf of Spacer's Choice. Okay. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Yeah. Experience, Mabel right? Burgess. Age 37. Right or left-handed? Let's just say no longer applicable mm -hmm. i remember doc burgess conducted my physical every fiscal quarter guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine still one outstanding bounty if you've got a finger i've got the paperwork and here you go here we are birdie cotton cause of death let's just say overwhelming physical trauma yeah. bert was the local preacher before max took over always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Sweet. What's this? Junior Deputy Constable? You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Yeah. How'd you get so many people end up being marauders? I've got no... I don't care. Cool. All right, so now we're in here. Can I go in here? Sealed. A lot of these places are sealed, which kind of sucks. Hey, how's it going? You mad at me? You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. Yeah, you're probably mad at me. Uh, no, I'm good. All right, let's go. Um, get our power regulator. Which I'm sure. Yeah, there he is. Yep, I'm just chilling, trying to look all ominous. What up, man? You want to know what gets my bile churning? I don't care. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Because your town sucks. It's not personal, I need your regulator. I don't owe you a disposition. I'll teach you a lesson. Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Smack you upside your head. I don't even have the right idea. I had to make you see that. You're all slaves to spiritual choice and liberating you. Life is full of betrayals. I know. You're a horrible person. You deserve everything that's coming to you. I see. All right, then. Glad you got that off your chest. I don't know how much of a lesson that Whatever was to teach you. Whatever you were you. hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. And I have old reliable... Call off your guards. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. I'm sorry about this, Reed. What's going to happen to Edgewater? Uh, it's experience intimidated him, right? And do I want to kill the guards? It might make Pravati more mad at me, so let's try All this. right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. That's right. Understand, fool! Oh, okay, we got a crap ton of experience. Stand down, all of you. We're done here. I'm not going to find out what's in your room, am, am I? Oh, man, I just realized that his room is up there locked, and all the doors are sealed now. Crap, let's level up. Okay, so I said we we're going to take a couple things to 40. We're going to take this to 40. Because that's close to 40. And then I want some leadership. So let's put like three points into leadership. Get that going. Hack is so close to get restricted items. So we can do... Bam. Okay, restricted items. Okay, lockpick is done. So now i got to put points solely to lockpick. This will no longer get lockpick up. Now, also, I want some more dialogue. So we'll get like a couple of points in dialogue. Keep that on the move. Intimidate's almost at 40. I have a point available. 
I think I kind of want inspire leadership because I want that to be 20. But I also want medical up there to 40 to get that third drug slot. Medical. Medical is more important to me. Perk. Okay, so we have, well, we got to have two more perks up here. I don't care about that one too much. I mean, that's kind of nice. Base health is nice. Tactical time is meh. Alone. I probably won't be alone anymore. Sprint speed. Companion crit hit rate. Eh. 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 Honestly, I think I'm going for that one. And that one. Although, maybe that one and that one. Yeah, I think so. I think... Sprinting is good because I don't like being slow. So we're taking that. We'll decide on our last point after. And two more levels. Level 10. Alright. This is mine. I have done it. I think we're done. Return to the unreliable. I think we are officially done. Everything here. That I know of. Return to the unreliable. Curious on whether or not I can go... Did this get turned around? You and I have got nothing there it is. Safe. I could kill you. I don't know if the game will allow you to do that or not. Still sealed? Still sealed. Is this considered stealing? Now. Yeah. Exercise patience. Do you have any more bounties? Got my hands full at the moment. Goodbye. Uh we're done. I'm going to say we're done with this place. We can go back to the region and fast travel back to the unreliable. That's cool. It's a really, really cool alone screen. Are they still here? No? They're gone. Okay. Is oh. this your ship? Yeah. Oh, my star. She is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back okay. in the post. I was thinking, like, wait, did she, like, join the crew without talking? I mean, but this is the talk. Those deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing keeps you from doing the same. You never been on a ship before? Why are you telling me all this? Those deserves live. Mean, yeah, nothing's keeping you from doing the same. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. Join my crew. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Nope. But can I come with you? Yeah. I could tend to your engine. I know my G valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yeah. Yes, I'll be glad to have you along. Pick a cab and it's yours. Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Call me Captain. I can call you yeah. Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a Captain. And I'm Captain. <laughs> Let's go, Pravati. Into, uh... That's right, you did join. Well, what up? I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. <laughs> I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. She's first. She gets to claim. What? She gets to claim first. <laughs> I love the name. Hey, hey. I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. Uh huh. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. You're welcome, Ada. What can I do for you, Captain? Hey, got the power thing, Do my digger. Do you know how to install a power regulator? I brought someone that does. 
Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Bye. Is she still following me? Yep. That's alright. She can still follow me. Come on, everybody. Make sure I'm doing this right. I'm just going to shove it into the hole and hope for the best. Uh, I mean, he <laughs> Shove her in. I got it. Ooh, achievement. Take it to anywhere. Speak with Ada. Ada! Ow! Ada! Hey, whoa. Spacers, choice found a flaw in you. Flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things may have happened to your character that can trigger a flaw. If I have a broken ankle because I jumped down so many times, I'm going to be so mad. Taking the flaw is optional. Okay, so I can fix my ankle. Doing so provides you per, per perk. The choice is yours. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it was going to do it. Your legs have been damaged too many times, and your movement speed has now been permanently lowered. In fact, movement speed minus 30%, you are unable to dodge. No. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth the perk point. I just took something to increase my movement speed. I jump off of things. It's what I do. I know I take fall damage. It happens. I reject you. What can I do for you, Captain? That's right. Call me Captain. I've done All it. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. I'm done. <gasps> we fly. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Hey, what up? communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Who's that? Oh, is that the dude who kicked us out of the thing and made us land on a dude? Okay, yeah. Aha, Aha there it is. you are. Hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. Mm -hmm. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame yeah. about her former captain. Horrible way to die. You did How it. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. <laughs> uh, get to the point, Phineas. I've been feeling a bit lightheaded also. I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, I'm good. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. Okay. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay, fine. I'll go have a word with Gladys. Why do I need Navaki to land on a planet? Slow down. You're asking me to get involved with the black market. Or I could put a couple light years between me and Halcyon. Yeah, I'll do it. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. He's dead. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Yeah, I'll put it to good use, man. You want to explain what a Holographic Shroud is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has Figure limits. First-generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. 
Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Hmm. Okay. What's the limitations? Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Oh. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. What? Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it to good use. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. Ooh. Uh, Pavardi's no longer with us, following us. Okay, that's the navigation terminal. So... He wants to revive all the colonists that are on New Hope, or Hope, to save the community, because we're some of the brightest minds the world had, to help fix all these colonies that are failing. And I have a feeling the council is going to be the opposite, saying they're going to be bad. Don't revive them. But I'm from there. They're my friends. I want to revive them. Can we go out the door? You're not going to really... Oh, oh Edgewater landed pad. I see. I was like, you're really going to let me open the door? So let's go up here and go uh, spy on our friends. Captain's quarters. Oh, you've been captain now. These are my quarters, huh? I have a bin. I have a terminal. I don't want that terminal. This is a holographic shrouder. Shroud. The holographic, holographic shroud protects the disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted restricted areas are off limit to unauthorized personnel and otherwise results in being tacked on site. Why is that optional? It's like it automatically, yeah, I gotta grab that. So our weight issue we have here. We have a lot of mods, and they're all weighing half a pound each. To me, there's a lot of mods there that don't need to be there. Oh, also, we have this ball on stick. So sharp I, that it cuts some letters out of its own name. <laughs> that it cuts some letters out. Yeah, it can just cut the C out. Or blade on a stick. Oh, it cut the E and this. Oh, okay. That's funny. Transfer. Weapons. Blade on a stick. Only because it's funny and should stay there. I want to keep, like, some of the weapons just for fun. Like, we'll keep a saber with us there. I don't need it on me, but we'll keep it there. I don't need the handgun on me, but it's in pristine condition, so we'll keep it there. Whoa, what happened here? Um, I will not be using, I mean, I don't really like the shotgun, but I'll keep it. I don't like the bolter's pistol, but we'll keep it. I have that plasma rifle. A light machine gun. We have old reliable. I actually could have sold that. I still will. Or I'll break it down. And I'll just break it down. I think I broke it down. It didn't make a sound, but I think I broke it down. And those are good. Although, actually, I want to try that. I haven't tried that thing yet. Good on that. Good on that. Mods are something we could definitely put away. Can I, like, take one? I don't think I'll ever put tech stuff on. I don't want to put this stuff away, you know? I want to keep it on me. Did I lighten my load? I lightened my load a little bit. Okay, we're good. Look at us. Uh, what do we have here? 
What the Victor Max? What's that? Oh, he's um the dude, that's right. Really? Where is it? Where is it? You're a shotgun boy? Okay. Interesting. Look at your armor. Dialogue skills. Ooh. Okay. One perk. Increases your hack. Threat generation. Base health. Increase your hack. We'll do that. Parvati, how do you like get new perks? Certain level? I'm not sure. What is your, by the way? Engineering. You have only that? I should probably give you a better gun. But I can actually look, right? Like, what is your good... What are you good at? I guess I can't look what you're good at. You're good with handguns, right? Using ranged weapons. It just says ranged. It doesn't say she has to be good with just handguns. Her best is persuade, lockpick, and engineering. So I could give her a better gun. Maybe we should. Well, we'll keep we'll keep that in mind when we're out in the field. Oh, there's another sentry saber. I'm gonna leave that there because it looked cool. Let's go talk to our crew. What the crap? We have a robot named Sam. <laughs> Great for a prank. Sam wore this sign for a week during Ada. Notice and pointed out to the janitorial unit who placed it on the unit. However, it remains a mystery. Wait, what? Journal? What the crap do we have now? Kick me sign. Is that no longer in my inventory? <gasps> a lot of the stuff is gone. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Is this our janitor is what you're telling me? Mine. You're the janitor. There's no response from the automatic chemical unit. Serial number etched in the chassis. Sam. Ask, ooh, ask Ada about Sam. I don't know what you're talking about. My, my clip is full. It wasn't me. Whoa. This is not a petunia. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The modern steel wrench in you. The book is heavily dodgerated and do doodles in the margin. Okay. I'm stealing like all this stuff and you can keep the shovel. It's just a... Ooh, that's cool. Oh, it's Parvati. I'm stealing from her. First wrench dad ever gave me. She's been a friend of mine ever since. Aw. A stern older man with warmer eyes. Warm eyes. Oh, this is all her stuff, but I'm stealing it because I'm the captain now, and it's mine. Where are you? Oh, here's Victor. Age whiskey. A book. More book stuff. More book stuff. Oh, you you, you uh check the collect the trading card game, dude. I can. I can set you up. I'm not reading those. We'll talk to you. What by up? Verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today? Uh, a lot. I'd like to know something about those on Flywood. What's your story? I want to ask you about that book. Do you have something to do with your religion? Any ideas? You speak French in the colony? Yeah. I've been thinking on that. There's a former uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Okay. Sounds like a good lead, but how do we find him? That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. A great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How will the crew manifest help us track down 
Okay. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. Thank you, Captain. Of course I'm going to help you. I don't really want to know too much about your story, though, so... Bye. Oh, the poster. Nice. So that's where we put the poster. For our roommate that hasn't popped in yet, or teammate. There's another one that hasn't shown up yet, of course. So where is Parvati? Can we play darts? No, what the? That is cool. Wait, what kind of dark game is this? Where's the bullseye? Oh. It's like a roulette wheel. Interesting. If you throw your dart and when the lights stop, that's where it is. And you can win or lose that way. Not in the poop room. Ha! I knew you'd be in here. What up? Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, flying about on his own? Why'd he make his computer a talkie? <laughs> I think it's time to move along. I think it's time you move along, Pervardi. What? What do you mean? What? You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> that's a relief. <clears throat> Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around. I mean. Oh, I did not know that was an actual thing we could do. I apologize. I'm breaking my legs again. Ah! <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, was there something else I could have done? I don't think there's anything else we could do. Oh, Ada, we got to talk to you about Sam. What up with Welcome Sam? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, da, 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 yeah, uh, auto mechanical collecting the dust. Is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago. I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Uh, I'm gonna move for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. Algebraists settle arguments about matrix transposes with a duo. Yeah, uh, play my favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Yeah, it's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. <laughs> okay. I request Bye. you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Don't need the sass. Alright, so now we gotta go search the Kaputa. Find what out how to fix it. What? Okay. All right. So search term Sam. First Sam result. Uh, do not forget you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto. That's where Sam comes in. Okay. It should be too difficult to get it up and running with a few key modifications. I can envision a combat capable variant. Some might say clean, mean, kill a machine. Removal of factory standard part. Suds steeper was successful. Deliver in a combat modification replacement. Acid stepper has been delayed. Progress setback and estimated now saw three months. I'm giving up. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon. But good news, find an acid steeper. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the inf location of an acid steeper. Again, uh, fit Fritch? The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I'm sure 
I, I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following his next, this next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wanted, wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Hmm. Interesting. So we gotta go find an acid steeper. Or stepper. Whatever you pronounce that. To. Nope. Look, we have all kinds of storage. It's cool. Yeah, so we can definitely get Sam back up and running. So it looks like we probably have a couple of. Holy crap. Yeah, the empty man. That's going to help out Companion Quest. That's going to help out uh, Victor. I forgot his name for a second. In the cleaning machine. Two quests. Uh, if I could do the cleaning machine first, I really want to do that. But we're going to do that in the next episode. We got it on our ship today. That's cool. Got to check it all out. We got storage now. We got... We're in space. <laughs> How cool is that? Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and show your support. If you're new and you haven't subscribed for more content, feel free to share this video and comment down below. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?